All right, let's get ready to do some general anesthesia. My name is David. I'm a nurse anesthesia resident out on the West Coast, and here are the most common medicines I use to put you to sleep when you get your gallbladder taken out. Anesthesia is all about being prepared, so I have all of my medications drawn up and ready to go. This first medication I use is fentanyl. It is a powerful opioid anesthetic and analgesic. It provides significant pain control, and it blunts the sympathetic response to laryngoscopy during intubation. Next, we have lidocaine. This is an amide local anesthetic. It also helps blunt the response to laryngoscopy, and it also provides some opioid sparing techniques during anesthesia. After that, we have propofol. This is by far the most common medicine we use in anesthesia and critical care. It is a GABA agonist. It increases chloride conductance into the cell, and it's the medication that puts you to sleep. Propofol is extremely versatile. We can use it during induction, we can use it as a maintenance anesthetic, and we can use it during emergence to help smooth things out. Next, we have rocuronium, a non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocker, and it paralyzes you. Next, we have some medications that are given during the course of the anesthetic, but they don't actually provide anesthesia. This first medication is dexamethasone, a steroid, and it is given to prevent post-operative nausea and vomiting. I typically give four milligrams just after induction. After that, we have ondansetron or Zofran, which is a 5-HT3 antagonist. It's a super common medication given to prevent nausea and vomiting, and we give it during emergence to help prevent post-operative nausea and vomiting. After that, we have phenylephrine. Phenylephrine is an alpha-1 agonist, and it provides vasoconstriction and helps increase your blood pressure. One of the common side effects of anesthesia is hypotension, and this medication helps combat that. And as we're getting towards the end of the case, we give this medication called Sugamidex, which is a reversal agent for the non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocker rocuronium, which is the medication that paralyzes you. And we give this medication to reverse the paralysis. During the maintenance phase of anesthesia, we use anesthetic gas to help keep you asleep. And when we're waking you up as we're blowing that gas off, I like to work in a little bit of propofol to help smooth things over. What questions do you have?